Hello, welcome to another video podcast called Too Young to Get Old. Today we're going to tackle the thorny subject of alcohol and ageing. Now, I can tell you that I do not want to be a killjoy. I don't want to ruin your pleasure in life if uh, having a drink is uh, the difference between <laughs> enjoying your day and not. But I do think it's something that um, as we get older, we have to just be aware of what impact alcohol has on our body and mind. I um, am going to confess right away that I'm one of those very annoying people who's given up alcohol totally. I did about six or seven years ago, only because I just kept getting a headache. And um, annoyingly for you, if you're still drinking, is that I do feel very much better for it. But um, it is a difficult subject and I think it's just important for you to, all of us really, to review every now and again the things that we do with our lifestyle and whether they're working for us. Now, first of all, I'd like to talk about reaction times and slowing down when you have alcohol. And this happens whatever your age. I remember when I was about 35, I took part in a, an experiment on a television program uh, where I had my reactions and response time tested and then I was fed a rather large gin and tonic and then the program went on with another presenter and then it came back to me 20 minutes later and the expert tested my reactions and my response time again and also breathalyzed me. Now the interesting thing was I used to drink a lot in those days and I didn't feel remotely tipsy and um, gratifyingly from my point of view I didn't fail the breathalyzer test so I would have been perfectly okay to drive but the expert pointed out that even at the age of 35 my reaction time had slowed so significantly that had I been in a line of traffic and the person in front of me had braked suddenly I would have gone into them so that did kind of stay with me and what I'm thinking now is if that was true of me at 35, my goodness, what would it be true, uh, what would the reaction time be, you know, now I'm over 70. So I think it is just something to bear in mind. A lot of people who drink uh, will say, you know, oh, it does me good and I feel better for it, but secretly worry that have they got a drink problem. I know a doctor who spent 40 years focusing on alcohol, it's his subject, and he always says that you can test whether or not you've got a problem with alcohol in the following way. Go to a party or out with friends or whatever, have two drinks, two small drinks, two units of alcohol in other words, and then just go, I've enjoyed that, now I'll go into soft drinks. If you can do that, then you don't, in his view, have a drink problem. If you can't do that, then it rather means that instead of you controlling alcohol, alcohol is controlling you. In other words, once it gets into your bloodstream, it's very Moorish. You want more and more of it. And um, you might say, well, that's, that's not true of me because I can stop totally for weeks at a time. That's not the test, according to this doctor. The test is, can you stop when you've had two drinks? There's no doubt, I think, though, that alcohol does affect us more as we age and that is in two ways, how we feel and how we look. Um, certainly I didn't like how it made me feel. Uh, I used to get rather muddy and, and uh, headachey on just one drink so it was easy for me to give up. You may say well it makes me feel better and, and perhaps it does but you may also know that if you carry on drinking it has a bit of a depressing effect or you get hostile or whatever. That possibly isn't really what you want to do. Why does it affect us more as we get older? Well, I suppose just everything is slowing down. But one of the things we notice more as we get older is how vague we get when we've had a drink. Or indeed, we may notice this in friends when they've had a drink. They're telling a story. They can't supply you with the details of the person's name, what happened. They just become really vague. Why does that happen? Well, the reason is that the bit of the brain that... Um, helps form and maintain memory depends upon nerves communicating with each other. And what happens is when we have alcohol, uh, that slows down that communication. So that's why we get vague. There is a physiological reason for it. Um, of course, alcohol affects many organs in the body and uh, the liver 
of course, is one. But uh, in terms of how we look, what we need to remember is that um, the skin is the biggest organ in the body and the skin is very adversely and quickly affected by alcohol because alcohol dr you know, dries it out. So if you're somebody who spends quite a lot of money on good moisturisers and um, night creams and everything, actually you are fighting a bit of a losing battle if you're drinking a lot because really your skin cream, no matter how expensive it is, is not going to keep pace with the drying out that the alcohol does in your skin. So, as I said earlier, I don't want to be somebody that's um, being puritanical about drink. A lot of people will enjoy a good drink, and a lot of people indeed will say, I'd sooner live for a shorter time, but have a good time. And if that's how you feel, that's fine, that is your choice. But I do think that all of us need every now and again to just review uh, whether or not the things that we do on an average day are all working for us. That's all for now. Bye.